welcome back everybody. I've got the little red trailer on the back of the mule today. We're going to dig us up some garden dirt and I'm going to rake some of this back. I've got the screen on the trailer and we're going to make sure we don't get any large rocks or anything like that in it. But there's also something else I'm looking for. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really hope we find something and let's get started. We got some shoveling to do. Well, I'll tell you what, this storm's pushed in pretty fast here. We're saying on the weather this morning that this should be, we're going to drop down in temperature tonight. We're probably going to see a frost tonight and tomorrow night, and it should be the last frost of the year. We'll see how we go. It does not take long to make a pile of leaves, does it? Just right on the back of this mule. Good spring. Of course, guys. Might get a little bit of work done here. I had to push you guys back in the mule. We had a pretty good shower come through. Now, this is a three quarter inch screen that I brought home from work. So we're going to throw the dirt up on top of this, and then we're going to sift through it. Then when it drops down into the trailer here, that'll screen this dirt to perfection for the garden. Actually, the uh, planters that we made. Now, I have sharpened all these shovels up. These guys are going to work pretty good for us. We'll get all this stuff out of our way. Boy, you can find yourself doing some work in the springtime, right? And it seems like it happens all at once. Alright, I'm going to bring you over a little closer and we're going to sift through this. See what we've got in there. If you guys are sifting dirt like this, if you watch this and this is something you can use, uh, it doesn't have to be one of these metal screens. You can go to pretty much any, any hardware store and they will have what's called expanded metal. And you can get, find various sizes for whatever you're trying to strain through. But I mean this, we'll get right on through here. I'm just spreading it out. Now that is a little flake of what I call chert off of an arrowhead. And as we're sifting through this, I'm going to keep my eyes open. The screen will catch most of that. But Native Americans used to inhabit this land and we do find a considerable amount of this stuff that very well the way that's cut like that how well you can see that that very well could have been something they was using to uh, scrape or cut with now I think it's just a flake but you know very well could be you throw that in the bucket this is exactly why I brought the bucket with me now just back and forth like I said, you can see all of this leaving. And I tell you, I mean, for a wheelbarrow full, actually this is a, a third of a yard, I believe. Uh, if you had to purchase this, then you're probably talking 30, 40, 50 bucks. Uh-oh. What do we have there? Well, look at that. Look at that little sliver. I would say that was getting ready to be, or is still part of, a bird point. I dropped it. Look at that. I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to see when you tune into the channel. 
and that should keep it interesting for you guys. We got the first batch clear. Now I'm going to take my clamp off. Now this works over a wheelbarrow too guys. You don't have to have a trailer like this. If you find yourself a screen, set it right over the top of your wheelbarrow and you can absolutely get what you need. Shovel it right onto your wheelbarrow. Knock all this stuff out of there. When your screen's got everything that you're wanting to remove, just dump it off the side. Back away from the mule. I'm going to give you a look inside the trailer here and show you how good that dirt really looks. That is absolutely sifted to perfection. You can put that in any garden you want to put it in now. Let's grab some more. Anytime I'm working around raw metal like that, I always try to keep a pair of gloves on. There's always sharp edges and things like that that you can't see. And by the time it's gotten out there and bit you a little bit, it's too late. down and start all over. Now you can even take and sift through your garden soil. If you have something you want to remove before you plant this year, this system works pretty good. Gives you a chance to pull some of the roots and things like that out of there that you didn't need. Oh, that nonsense right there. We didn't need that. That one's just a rock, guys. Keep looking. This is really some good dirt. I'm like a kid in a sandbox. This is fun. <laughs> nope, just a rock. Now as far as um, arrowheads and artifacts like that go, my wife's uncle comes down and he is famous, famous for finding arrowheads here. And normally he's one of those that just has that luck. He'll, he'll make a trip across through here and then come up to the house and say, check this out. And he always has fun. See, like I said, we're saving all of that out of there. Tell you what, guys, I might have to take some of this dirt down here and fill up Mule Slide Hill. We've got some pretty good ruts in that one. <laughs> now, I did walk up and get my little rake that I was talking about, and this gets through this a little easier. Let's see where you can see that there. Actually, it has an extendable handle on it as well.
comes the wind back around. And another thing now, by us sifting through this, whatever you're getting ready to plant into this dirt, you can actually add your fertilizer in now. And by the time you've sifted through this, it is absolutely 100% ready to plant. Now you can obviously put your fertilizer in to whatever you're, wherever you're taking this dirt to. But if you want a really good mix, this is, this is a great way to do it. You're pushing that stuff in there in layers and like I said, by the time you get back up to where you're going to use this stuff, it's ready to go. I think I've just seen another color rock there. Maybe not. Just another little piece of sliver. broken but look at that guy wow you see that pretty good I hope I'd say that break was old so I don't think I did it today at least I hope I didn't there's one guys put that in the seat of the mule Pretty much done there. Ooh. Right off of there. I think that's going to be enough. Actually, probably a little more than enough. Move this off to the side and show you what we did sift out of there. That's everything we sifted out. Look how nice that soil looks. That's just spot on perfect. Alright, I'm going to walk up here and show you guys these before I drop them again. There we go. Pretty cool, right? We've definitely got a nice trail load of topsoil. Uh, I definitely fulfilled my obligations as to what I was told to do today. <laughs> so, I'm ready and set. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing more like this, leave it in the comments and we'll get it done for you. We really appreciate you guys. Thanks. I'll see you on the next one.